this video, we'll take a look at the new RAD Scheduler Time Zones feature included in the Q3 2010 release of RAD Controls for WinForms. So as you can see, I currently have opened the Examples application included with RAD Controls for WinForms. I'm currently on the RAD Scheduler Time Zones example. Now this particular example includes a RAD Scheduler that contains three appointments. Above the RAD Scheduler is a RAD Scheduler Navigator that allows me to change the particular view I would like to see the appointments in. And the new feature included in the RAD Scheduler Navigator is actually the ability to pick the time zone I want to see the appointments displayed in. So as you can see, if I click this drop down, the central time zone is currently selected. And that's actually what the, these appointments are being displayed in, is the central time zone. But let's say I want to see uh, what time these appointments would occur in the Pacific time zone. Well, I can scroll down in this drop down, and as you can see, the Pacific time zone is about two hours away from the central time zone. So if I select this, the RAD scheduler automatically adjusts the times that these appointments are being displayed in uh, so that they are in the Pacific time zone. Another new feature included in the Q3 2010 release is the ability to add extra time rulers over here to the left. So, for example, the time zone that it's currently displaying these appointments in is Pacific time, but let's say I want to see them in Central time as well. So I can click this drop down over here in the example, and I'm going to scroll down to the Central time zone. I'll select it and click Add New, and this is actually executing code in the code behind and as you can see, that code resulted in a new ruler being placed over here to the left. So if I line up uh, these appointments, you can see that the SQL 2008 appointment starts at 8 o'clock a.m. in the central time zone, and it starts at 6 o'clock a.m. in the Pacific time zone. So let's go ahead and switch on over to Visual Studio and take a look at how we can implement this in our own applications. So here I am in Visual Studio, and as you can see, I've already created a very basic application that contains a RAD Scheduler, a RAD Scheduler Navigator, and if I click the Smart tag of this RAD Scheduler Navigator, as you can see, I've already associated it with a RAD Scheduler. And that's actually all it takes to begin using this dropdown to set the default time zone on RAD Scheduler. What I'd actually like to show you in this example is how to set up these controls over here. This dropdown is actually going to display a list of time zones and based on the selected time zone you'll be able to click the set default button to set the default time zone of RAD scheduler or you'll be able to click add ruler to add a new time zone ruler here to the left and if we jump into the code behind for this project real quick I want to show you one more thing our constructor is calling an initialize appointments method and if we scroll down to that method as you can see, I'm just creating three default appointments that we can use for testing out this demo. And if I scroll down a little bit more, I've got three more methods that have not yet been implemented. The method for our default button, the method for the add ruler button, and then the method that we'll use to initialize the time zones contained within the dropdown. So let's go ahead and get started by displaying the available time zones within the dropdown. So I'm going to erase this comment, and to access the dropdown, I've actually renamed it to be DD Time Zone, so I'm going to access that, and we'll set the sort style to be an ascending order. And then I'm going to set its display member to be label, and then finally, I'm going to set its data source to be equal to time dot get scheduler time zones, and that's actually a public static method contained on the time object included with the RAD controls for WinForms that returns all available time zones that you can use in conjunction with the RAD scheduler. So now that we've set up the dropdown, let's go ahead and take a look at it in action inside of the compiled application. So as you can see, the dropdown now contains a list of all available time zones. So let's move on by setting up the set default button and this button is actually going to do pretty much the same thing this dropdown does here up to the top right. It's going to set the time zone that the appointments are currently displaying in based on the time zone I've selected in our dropdown. So let's switch back to Visual Studio once again. And I'm going to now implement the set default click event handler 
So this is actually the event handler being called by our button when it gets clicked on. So let's retrieve the rad scheduler and on the rad scheduler I'm going to retrieve the active view and I'm going to set its default time zone property to be equal to the currently selected item in our dropdown. I'm going to actually need to cast the object in our dropdown so I'm going to cast it to a scheduler time zone and then to access the item I'm going to say DD time zones dot selected value and that's going to return the selected value in the dropdown set the default time zone on the rad scheduler and then our appointments will be reflected in that new time zone. So let's go ahead and run the application once more and take a look at this. So I'm going to select the, let's go ahead and scroll down to the Pacific time zone. That should be an offset of minus eight hours. So as you can see the, the uh, rad scheduler is currently being displayed in the central time zone so when I click set default, it's going to update it to display in the Pacific time zone. So as you can see, it, it did just that. And all I needed to do was set the default time zone on the active view. So the next thing I want to show you is how to add an extra ruler here to the left. And I'm going to do that by implementing our add ruler button. So I'm going to close out of the application once more. and here is the event handler for the add ruler button. So I'm going to first erase the comment and then I'm going to start by casting the active view on rad scheduler as a scheduler day view base. So let's go ahead and create a scheduler day view base variable and we'll call this view and I'm going to set it equal to rad scheduler dot active view. We're going to cast it as a scheduler day view base. And the next thing I need to do is check to see if this is null. And if it's not null, then I'm going to set the, I'm going to add an additional time zone to the view. So I'm going to say view dot time zones dot add. And again, I'm going to retrieve the uh, currently selected time zone from the dropdown. So I'm going to need to cast it as a scheduler time zone. And then again, I'm going to access the dropdown's selected value. And that's what's going to add the additional ruler to the view. So let's go ahead and run the application once more. And as you can see, if I select a different time zone, let's select Amsterdam, for example, and I'm going to click Add Ruler. And it adds an additional ruler to the left. And now I can see all of my appointments uh, and those corresponding times. Now you may have noticed that I actually used a scheduler day view base object in my code. Well the reason I did this is because there are actually only certain views that support displaying a ruler. So for example day view supports displaying a ruler, week view supports displaying a ruler, and then month view and timeline view do not display rulers. Well the day view and week view are actually derived from the scheduler day view base, which is the reason I cast the active view as that particular object type. And then when I check to see if it's null, it tells me if I'm actually on a day or week view. And then that's when I can set the, or add an additional time zone to the time zones collection on the view. So that's basically all it takes to take advantage of the new time zones features included in the rad scheduler for WinForms. Thanks for watching.